amazing visit we we having here this afternoon. I, I got to tell you, Bed, we walked in here and uh, we were greeted by obviously uh, Natasha, as well as the most awesome little puppy you have ever seen in your life. I'm standing right next to uh, Natasha and Slurpee, uh, which was the pup's name, little Slurpee. Uh, and Natasha will give us all the details on this lovely dog and, and of course, uh, its condition. Um, so little Slurpee came to us about a month ago. Um, so the first thing I realized that, you know, there was something, she actually came in for vaccines, but I realized that there was something very wrong with her. Um, first of all, she's a six-month-old pug that barely weighs one and a half kilograms. Um, she's very underweight, very emaciated. And she came in in this kind of stuporous condition. You know, she was very unreactive. Um, so we started running some blood tests and we found and did an abdominal ultrasound. And then we found that Slurpee has a condition called a portal systemic shunt or in simple terms, a liver shunt. And what that basically means is that she's got an extra blood vessel that instead of the, um, the blood that absorbs the food from the intestine, then going into the portal vein, which is transferred to the liver, her um, basically food contents goes into her bloodstream and goes straight into her circulation, bypassing her liver. And basically your liver is there to detoxify your blood. So when this is happening, all the toxins accumulate in the bloodstream and that causes a, a number of different problems. But the major one is that it causes the brain to swell and causes something called hepatic encephalopathy. But basically, and as I say, in simple terms, it's an inflammation of the brain because of the buildup of the nitrogenous waste products in the blood. Um, so she goes through stages of being hyper excited, um, you know, and then she goes through stages of being almost comatose and she has had a couple of seizures as well. Um, and if on the, on the ultrasound, we can see a very large shunt, um, so a big, large blood vessel. We can see that her kidneys are enlarged, her liver is very shrunken, and she's already started to accumulate urate stones in her bladder. And that's because of the buildup of purines in her body because she's not excreting them normally because her liver is not doing its job. So basically, um, we've tried to treat her medically because of finances. Um, she was surrendered to us as the owner could just not, um, you know, see himself going forward with a chronically ill dog. He just didn't have the finances, um, you know, to, you know, even if she gets surgery, she's still going to need special care going forward. And he just wasn't able, unfortunately, although he really loves Slurpee, to commit to that. Um, so basically, um, we've been uh, treating her medically um, with antibiotics, um, laxatives to decrease the amount of basically um, nitrogenous waste products that she gets out of her out of her colon and um, a special liver diet. And some doggies can stabilize on just medication. But unfortunately, Slurpee is not one of those doggies. Slurpee's condition is so severe that she really needs surgery to close that shunt um, and so that the, the blood will slowly start going through her liver. Unfortunately, this is not a surgery we can perform here. Um, it is a very specialist surgery. So um, we've had a quote from a specialist of 25,000 Rand to perform the surgery. And, um, you know, obviously this is just not within our clinic boundaries to do this for one animal. You know, we already do a lot of charity work and everything we've done for Slurpee up till now, we've done out of pocket and out of our charity fund. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we're basically looking for help to get Slurpee the surgery she needs. Because although we know it's a lot of money to spend on one little doggy when there's so many doggies needing help out there, this little girl has just won our hearts and she is just such a special little child that she deserves the world and she deserves what she needs and to get better and live a healthy life. Natasha, I mean, Slopey's not even a year old and she's already undergone all of this and to, to be surrendered by your owner, I mean, that just speaks to a sign of the times that we're in at the moment for somebody to have to part with their beloved pet because they just can't afford to look after the medical needs and the surgery as well. I mean, from, from what we understand, it's either the specialist operation or euthanasia at this point. That is correct. Yeah, she can't continue... Um, you know, 90% of the time now on medical treatment, she's fine, but she had a seizure two days ago again. She can't continue like that. It's not fair on her. And, you know, she's, I mean, in the month she's been here with medical treatment, she's barely put on 100 grams. Um, you know, her ribs are sticking out. She's not growing. She needs the surgery sooner rather than later. Well, 
Well, it's a sad story, and when you see the pictures, I mean, really, <laughs> honestly, so cute. Um, I think Hot Cares can help on this one. Twenty-five grand. That's the quote. That's the quote. Yep. Yep. Well, we've looked in our bank account, and little Slurpee is going to get that life-saving surgery. That is absolutely incredible. You guys are just amazing. I can't sing your praises enough. Everything that you do is just absolutely incredible. Thank you so, so much from all of us staff here that love Slurpee so much and have bought the spa to get her the spa. I just can't thank you guys enough for giving her this lifeline and making this possible. Thank you so, so much. We want to see her put more weight on. Uh, we want to hear a bark and be a happier dog. We're also going to take care of food and costs at the uh, Blue Bush Animal Clinic until she finds a forever home. Because that's the thing. I mean, we can do the surgery, but we, we need uh, a loving home for Slurpee. Absolutely. And yeah, when she's better, the right home I know is going to come along and this dog is going to live her best life. And just, yeah, she's going to just have the best going forward. And that's because of you guys. And I really, really appreciate that.